Hello Mass Legends, today you can be a superhero just like me and we can look at stacking and packing which is a service area of packages. Gents, this is not an easy concept and will take a little bit of time to get used to. It's looking at uh, like tessellating three-dimensional shapes. Now we can see this in real life when we're looking at bricks in a house or we're looking at poppers in a carton or we're looking at the amount of cans that are in a carton. Now, when we're looking at surface area, we're looking at the outside of a shape. Now, in this one in particular, you have your eye snacks. Now, in your eye snacks here, you can see down the bottom right-hand corner that it's telling you what the dimensions of one of the eye snacks are. Now, the first thing that we have to do when we're doing the surface area is we need to find out what the outside of the shape is, what their dimensions are. So, if we have a look at the moment in our main shape, we can see that at the bottom there is... A three centimetre for this one, a three centimetre for this one, a three, a three centimetre for this one. So we know that the length of our shape is nine centimetres. We then know that our width, well we have two here and we have two here, so we then know our width is four centimetres. And then we look at our height. And we know that one of these is five centimeters, so my height is five centimeters. Now this is going to help us because the next thing that we're gonna to need to do is know what the net of this shape would look like. So I know straight away with the net of this shape that it is one big area, one little area, one big area, one little area. And then on the sides, I have two long skinny areas. Now from here, what we have to do is if by knowing what we have, we can then use our measurements at the top to help us in making sure that we can work out the area of each of these. So yesterday we did composite rectangles. This is like composite rectangles. We're going to add up the six different rectangles to find the surface area. So we know that our length is nine centimeters and we know that our uh, height is five centimeters we know that our width is two centimeters we know that each of these is five each of these are two five and two what I have to do now is I have to work out every single rectangle. Now, this is a part I know that can be a little bit time consuming, but it has to be done. We know that for area, area is equal to length times width. So in the first one here, we know that our length is nine, our width is five, nine times five is 45. I'm gonna put centimeters square. So you can see I've cut out my working, even though I'd like to see your working. In my next square, I know it is nine centimeters across and two centimeters down. You can see my two over here. So I'm going to go nine times two is 18 centimeters squared. Now I know that this is the exact same as the one up the top. And this is the exact same as the one we've just done. So 18 squares. The last two I have to do are the two on the outside. Five times two is 10 centimeters squared and 10 centimeters squared. All I have to do now is add up each of those different areas. So that's the outside of my shape. So if I add them all up and I go 45 plus 45 plus 18 plus 18 plus 10 plus 10. You can see I've run out of room, so I'm gonna put over the side here. If I go 45 plus 45 is 90, 10 plus 10 is 20, that makes 110. Add another 36, that makes 146 centimetres squared. So my surface area, the area that you can see on the outside of that shape is 146 centimetres squared. Here's another one. We can see here we're looking at muesli puffs. Now our muesli puff box 
is 20 centimeters is our length, 10 centimeters our width, and 30 centimeters our height. Now we have to look at the box on the other side. What I want you to do now is I want you to stop the video and I want you to see if you can work out the length, the width, and the height of this shape. Okay, let's uh, quickly check this out. So we know that we have 20 here, we have 20 here. Oh, that looks like a six, I'll change it, there we go, 20. We know that we have 10, 10, and 10. And we know that we have 30 on the way up and 30 more on the way up. So if I was then to work it out, my length would have been 40 centimetres because that's my measurement. My width would have been three lots of 10, which is 30 centimetres. And my height would have been two lots of 30, which is 60 centimetres. All right, what I'd like you to do now is stop the video again. What I want you to do is draw the net of this shape. So what I want you to look at is I want you to look at each of the sides and I want you to show that I should have six different rectangles because this is a rectangular prism. I want you to stop it now and have a go. Right, welcome back. Let's see how you went. All right, so if I was doing this one, I know straight away that I have one very small square. Then I have one very long one, another very small one, and another very long one. I know then that off my smaller one, I have two on each side. So you can see now I've got my net. It's not perfect. Ideally, I'd like you to use your ruler, but we can work from there. Right, now let's have a quick look. Now we know that on the small sides that they are 30 centimetres. We know that our length across the front here is 40 centimetres. We know that our height is 60 centimetres, and we also know that that is 60 centimetres there. So let's now go in and let's quickly work this one out. So if I have a look at the top, I've got 40 times 30. So the first thing, because I know area is equal to length times width. I'm going to keep reminding you of that. I don't want you to forget that. So let's cross out our two zeros, put them onto our answer. 4 times 3 is 12. So I know that I have 120 squared centimetres. I look at my next one. I have 60 times 40. So 60 times 40, put my two zeros because I've crossed them off. 6 times 4 is 24 centimetres squared. I go to my next one. I know it's exactly the same as the one up the top because I have two identical sides and I have 2,400, two identical sides. My last one's over here. Two zeros onto my answer. Six times three is 18 centimetres squared and I know it's the same over here. All right, what I'd like you to do now is stop the video again. I want you to add all these up and I want you to see what your answer is. Right, Righto, welcome back. Let's see how we went. Well, straight away, we know that we need to add all of those up. So if we add those all up, I know that I have three, two lots of, what, 2,400. That is 4,800. I have two lots of 1,200. That makes 2,400. And I have two lots of 1,800, which is 3,600. If I add those up now, I would have got, now I'm going to put over the side here, I would have got 108,000 centimetres squared. Hopefully that's helped. I know it's a difficult concept. We're going to do some stuff uh, in class today. Uh, if you have any questions, please come ready to ask your teacher and hopefully we'll be able to use some of our uh, consolidation over the next two days to be able to get to know this one better. Thanks, boys.